Using the dim space command, ASME recommends a minimum spacing of 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch away from our object that's being dimensioned to our dimension line. And it also recommends a quarter inch in between distance minimum between an existing dimension and the next dimension. Now these are minimum. Generally speaking, we want more than that. The whole idea is to prevent crowding and easy readability. So typically you'll find these things maybe a half inch apart. But here we have an example. These things should be equal. I mean the spacing should be equal. This is a poor practice, drafting practice. So we want to make these the same. We could use various tools that we've learned already, such as using our grips or stretch or dim T edit, things of that nature, Q dim. Um, but we're going to use dim space. And dim space uh, allows us to automatically do things. So if I go up and I go to dim space in my dimension panel, so I pick on dim space, so select the base dimension. I'll pick on this one here and then it says select dimensions the space. I'm going to pick this one and this one and then I'll hit enter and this is enter value. This is the distance in between um, uh, dimensions and I'm going to go with a 0.375 and hit enter and you'll see now it made the distance between here and here, the 2 and 4 the same, and the 4 and the 6 the same. It did not change the distance of my original one away from the object. So it's a great way to automatically line things up. Uh, it can actually line up uh, dimension lines as well. Uh, but the main use really is to get equal spacing in between things. Uh, the uh, it's a very common practice to just dimension away and then go back and pretty it up later. So dim spacing helps us to pretty it up and allow the viewers of our drawings to have an easier uh, way of deciphering the dimensions.